Okay, as we discussed in the last lecture, that there's an issue, which is that if you take a function and make it series in the power series form with the uh, the Taylor series form with the nth coefficient being the nth derivative evaluated at c divided by n factorial, we don't know ahead of time whether that series will necessarily converge to the first one necessarily converge for every x in an interval. And even if it converges, will it converge to a function from which we constructed the series? Okay? So um, let's investigate this. Let's uh, consider a function f of x, right, for which we have developed um, a Taylor polynomial, let's say. So we know that if we start by something like this. Notice that I have stopped here at finite many terms. So since I have stopped at finite many terms, this is going to be an approximation of f of x. This is just the Taylor polynomial of degree n developed at x, uh, x uh, c. Yes. To to make this exact, we know that the exact value of f of x is going to be this approximation plus or minus, depending if the approximation is a little bit more or a little less than the real value. The error. The error, the error term, right? And we saw in the section of Taylor polynomials that we have a theorem which tells us that this error term, right, is exactly the next derivative. We stop at nth, so for the nth plus one derivative, evaluated at z over n plus one. The error of the approximation at x would be the nth plus 1 derivative at z, where z is in the interval cx or xc, right? Because x is near c, so x could be bigger than c or less than c, so in the appropriate interval, z is some number there. Now, <clears throat> you see, if you look at it, the nth degree polynomial is like the nth partial sum of the full Taylor series. Right? So, this whole thing is the nth degree polynomial of x. Right? So, what we can do we can say, let me erase this. This is what we can do. So f of x equals the nth degree polynomial, whatever degree we choose, plus the error. Error in the nth degree polynomial at x. Yes. Notice that the if we have the series, the summation of f n c so n factorial x minus c to the n. If we have the series, then the s n, right? Using the notation of partial sums, the s n of the series is exactly the pn, the nth polynomial, the nth degree polynomial, right? Because we stopped at that place. So, when would we need, okay, what is it that we want? We want the essence to converge to f of x. Yes? 
This is by definition of what does it mean for a series to converge. The nth partial sum should be converged into. If you want these to converge, now what is Sn? I.e. you want the Pn of x to converge to f of x. But what is Pn of x? Pn of x is fx minus the error term, right? Minus error. We want all this to converge to f of x. Well, what this means, how can f of x minus the error term converge to f of x? Only if the error term goes to 0 as we go to higher and higher n. And that essentially is actually the proof of the next theorem we're going to write down. The theorem about convergence of a Taylor series. It says, If if the error term which is equal to the and um, if if the limit let's write this more properly if the limit of the error term in the nth degree polynomial approximation is zero for all x in interval r, then in that interval the Taylor series